Hi guys, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for being here. Thank you to Marketing Society for inviting me over. Um, I'm currently in the UAE Army, so it was a lot of mission to actually get out of the Army and come here and give a talk, but I made it. <laughs> thank you. One sec. So my name is Aysel Mansari, lived here all my life, uh, grew up here in Dubai, moved abroad uh, to Switzerland and UK to continue my studies. And now at the moment, serving my country, but at the same time, a motivational speaker that goes and travels worldwide to inspire people about my weight loss journey. So this is just the stats about, uh, well, this is about my education, what I do at the moment. So just to let you guys know and some information about the statistics and the obesity rate and diabetes rate here in the UAE. Now, 33% of school students are either overweight or suffering with diabetes type 1 or type 2. The average rate of heart attack here in the UAE is 45 years old compared to the rest of the world that's 65 years old. Why is that simple? I think we all agree that we live a very easy life. We have everything for us 24-7. A bottle of water could be delivered to your house door by just one call. So everything is there 24-7. The malls are open sometimes 24-7, even till midnight, till 1 a.m. So we live a very, very easy life, and therefore the obesity and the diabetic level here in the UAE, or I would say in the Middle East, is very, very high. Now, who was I? Now, I believe I was born five years ago. Why do I say that? I was a person that was overweight and reached 145 kilos throughout my life. This is due to eating junk food, like KFC, McDonald's, Subway. Subway is considered as junk food, just for you to know. Um, not doing any type of sports activities, being always calling in sick in school during any sports day. Oh, mom, I don't want to go. I'm sick. Uh, I'm calling sick. Just didn't want to. Just wanted to eat. That's my life. So around five years ago, uh, there was a point. It was on the weekend. So I have a twin brother, and I have three older brothers that are triplets. Now, my older brothers, three of them are doctors. My mom is a squash champion here in the UAE. My dad is fit, he trains. I was the only unfit, lazy person, sleeping and eating 24 seven. So it was on a weekend, uh, wasn't feeling very well, got sick, got a flu, got a fever, went to the hospital, did some blood tests, and we were there waiting for hours and hours for our blood tests to come. The doctor walked in and he told me, Isa, you're pre-diabetic due to you being overweight and unhealthy and inactive. He then told me, hey, so you have two options. You either change your life from today or you won't be here for long. Now, he actually said you won't be here for long due to me being overweight and unhealthy. And then he came up to me. He's like, hey, so you have another two options. You either do it naturally, which is going to take five, six years of your lifetime, or I could take you now to an operating room, operate you, and do, you know, the uh, gastric bypass operation where they, you know, put a ring in your stomach, where you could lose weight without any exercise, just lose a tremendous amount of weight in a short period of time. Now, of course, I decided to go naturally. Now, I, just, I knew it was going to be challenging. I had to set some goals. I had to get on a strict nutrition plan. I had to be brave. I had to, you know, take risks. But I just wanted to change my lifestyle, and it was that point where I, I'm like, Isa, khalas, that's done. You have to change, you have to change. Now, this was who I was, overweight, depressed, 100%, bullied. Yes, I was called names in school, I will never forget. Yes, I was always embarrassed to get into any sports activities or join my brother, my twin brother, to any sorts of exercise just from being overweight. Now, who am I now? So after, so I've lost around 83 kilos of weight in a spam of four years and a half, and that's full on naturally without no any pills, any operation, any surgery was done. I did it, thank you very much. So I did it through training hard, and of course, being active, getting into that strict diet plan, starting from A, starting taking the baby steps, setting the goals, and reaching them. Now, one important thing that I realized during my weight loss journey, 
until now, I still do it till now, is setting that goals. Whether it's personal, whether it's business, whether it's fitness, having that goal set. So for me, the first, when I first started my journey, I'm like, okay, within the first six months, I want to lose five, six kilos. Did it happen? 100%. Why is that? It's because I set a goal for myself to reach that goal by training every single day. And as I said, having a nutrition and a, a personal trainer to help me reach that goals. One other important thing I realized is being positive, being surrounded by people who actually push you. Being surrounded by friends, family, positive minds, positive circles, positive attitudes equals to a positive life. I think we all agree on this 100%. Now, this is, me, now the, this is not an updated presentation. As I said, I'm in the army, so everything's all over the place. Uh, in the middle is when I've lost already 35 kilos of weight. So I was double that size. Well, on the left, don't ask why I have that. It's what sports day-ish. Do you see that spray, the green spray? And then on the left, you'd see throughout my journeys. And this is me within a year ago. Now, after losing all that weight, my goal is to inspire and help people, not only here in the UAE or the Middle East, but around the world. I've started this campaign called Fitness with Isa on social media, where I go and give talks to schools, universities, companies, government entities, globally. Now, till today, I've done around 62 schools in the UAE. I've done more than 25 corporate, event, uh, corporate companies, 10 events, and many more other things that I've done to inspire and help people. Not only people that want to lose weight, but people who just want to stay fit and active and ask me, Isa, how do you do it? Now, I don't come with a nutrition or fitness background. You know, I've studied hospitality management in Switzerland, so I'm all about hotels and eating those free food and events, 100%. But through my research now and you know, educating and helping people worldwide, I learn obviously every single day and taking tips from my friends who are trainers and nutritionists and dietitians as well. Now, there's a story I'd like to, so as I said, one thing is, you know, being brave, uh, you know, having that goal set. There's one story. Now, there was a young little girl who was going to join me as a surprise here, but unfortunately, due to treatment, she couldn't make it. So a year ago, uh, I love Starbucks. I guess who likes Starbucks here? Well, most of us. Black coffee in the morning. So I was having, having my coffee at Starbucks at around 8 a.m. before heading to work. And, you know, I was sitting down on my phone, updating my social medias. Oh, look, I have some coffee. You know how it is, it works, how social media works. So a young girl walks up to me, and she's like, she takes her, so she had, a sm she had her iPhone with her, and she showed me a picture. She's like, is this you? I'm like, yeah, that's me. She's like, you know, you came to my school a few months back, and you've inspired, so she's 11 years old. She's from the States, uh, grew up here in Dubai. She's like, you've inspired me to change my life. And I want to be like you when I, when, when I grow up. I want to be a speaker. I want to help those people. A few seconds later, her mom comes and she starts tearing up. I'm like, okay, this is getting a bit awkward. What's happening right now? So in my head, I'm like, what's going on? Is this tears of happiness? So she looks at me. She's like, hey, so you've inspired my son, uh, my daughter. And you've helped her so much. But she has one wish, and her wish is to become a speaker like yourself. However... She was diagnosed with cancer a few months back, and the doctor's been predicted to her to live only for six months to one year. So her goal right now is to stand here, like I'm standing, in front of you guys, just to sit, give, uh, share her story, and travel worldwide with me. So if you see through my social media channels, which is gonna be posted up in the next few weeks, I'm taking that young girl worldwide to all my talks, so I've done TED Talks, I'm doing a TED Talk in New York next year, I'm giving talks in Canada and the States next year, and she's coming with me just for her to be there and be like, okay, that's the checklist, my bucket list, I've ticked it. This is a perfect example of bravery. She's gone through treatment. Today, she was literally supposed to be here with me right now, but I got a call around 10 a.m. this morning that she had to go into treatment. She, is, she has a smile 24-7. If you see her, you just smile. She is positive 100%. She just wants to live life. She goes for a walk. She has an older brother. And she has a younger sister. And they go for a walk. I see her mother's just send me pictures every single day to say, look, 
she's she's she has cancer, but she's still living life. And that's exactly what I call a brave, being a brave person. Now, with spreading the message, um, you know, I've done a lot of school talks, and you know, as I said, I want to travel worldwide and help people worldwide. It's not easy to go through that life-changing journey, or anyone who wants to lose from one kilo to 20 kilos to 50 kilos to 100 kilos of weight. It's, being, it's all about being brave, taking those challenges, as I mentioned in the beginning. You know, I've seen people, I've, I've visited people in hospitals here in Dubai who are overweight, and the only option they have is to do an operation, and that's the only way they could lose. And I had a friend who passed away four years ago, by doing this operation, he lost 52 kilos in three months. Three months, yeah? So I've lost 83 kilos in a span of four years and a half. And he's lost around 30, 40 kilos in three months. Why is that? Simple. Operation, no exercise needed, have a bit bites here and there, and that's it. He passed away because of this, having a heart attack. So I'm trying, my goal right now is to try and stop this, not only here in the UAE, but around the world. I know it might be impossible but at least help people and make, make people make sure that they have a better option to go natural than to do it the easy way and lose this amount of weight. Now, this was my story. Now, I'm, it was very short and simple. Now, I'm very active on social media. Now, my next goal or my next aim is, as I said, is I have a few talks booked in New York, in States, uh, sorry, New York and Canada, Toronto, and of course in Saudi and Kuwait to help people as much as I can. I'd like to thank you all for your time. Thank you to Marketing Society for having me. And I'll be back very soon. Thank you so much.